Today's Tuesday tax tip of the week has to do with partnership returns. Uh, for those of you that are involved in partnerships or multi-member LLCs, which most of the time will file partnership tax returns, I want you to realize a partnership is considered to be a flow-through entity, meaning that there's really no tax at the partnership level. It flows through to the individuals. So if I were to take two partners, let's call them partner A and partner B, and they're in a business that earns $100,000 for, for the year. What would happen, assuming they're 50-50 partners, partner A would get a K-1, which is a form uh, that's generated on the partnership return that shows $50,000 of income, and partner B would get the same exact thing. What happens is each of these partners then report this $50,000 of income in their own personal income tax return. Uh, one couple things to keep in mind here, one um, would be that if you have income from a partnership, you are generally going to be required to make estimated income tax payments, uh, quarterly installments. Uh, and the other thing to realize is partnership return is generally due on April 15th, which would be the same time uh, an individual return is due. If they go on extension, their extension time is only until September 15th as opposed to individuals that can go to October 15th. Um, the other thing to remember is with a partnership, if a partnership is terminated, the tax return is due, still due two and a half months after the termination, I'm sorry, three and a half months after the termination. So if you have a 50% or more change in partnership ownership, that's considered to be a technical termination and a partnership return would be due within three and a half months of that date. Um, hope this help, tip helps you out. I'll see you again next Tuesday.